you're almost like reversing this. You've got the mainstream recognition. Now you want to just get on a bigger stage with wrestling. Uh, uh, exactly. It's almost hard for us to like imagine these numbers that some of our TikToks got. Okay, how am I supposed to be able to tell the difference between you guys? <laughs> uh, yo, we're the Boros Twins. Sorry, we always have to say that whenever we start an interview. Yeah, so. all our YouTube videos start like that, so <laughs> we gotta get this. that out of the way. And so people don't forget that you are, in fact, the Voros Twins. Wait, so also we so we don't forget, so we just gotta <laughs> figure that out. All right, I've got a 50-50 chance here of getting Chris okay. and Patrick uh -huh. correct, so... Uh, here we okay. go. On my left, so my left. Is that, is that yes. me? This guy. Yes. That is Chris. You yeah. got it. Oh, no. my gosh. <laughs> it, isn't Chris such a cool name? It's the wow. best name. It's the best. It's, the best. Oh, it's not Man. like Patrick. Uh, wow, we don't have. Patrick. We don't what, are you have... named after a SpongeBob character? We <laughs> got him. We got him. We got him so. so good. We don't have middle names, so it's not it's just yeah. Chris Voros, Patrick Voros. We don't have like a van in our name like you, but... Uh -huh. <laughs> uh -huh. How how is how is the average person supposed to tell the difference between you guys? I think it's just like gambling. You just kind of like guess <laughs> and stuff. But uh, uh, but there's little things like Patrick would wear red. If I have red, that's Patrick. If there's blue somewhere, then that's Chris. Uh huh. Uh, so I guess that's the main one. Uh -huh. But I think I know, we're but anybody who follows you guys on TikTok, you guys are dressed alike most of the time. Uh -huh. uh, most, most of the times are like similar. Yeah. Patrick's usually on this side of the screen for some reason, and Chris is there. It's just our better angles. <laughs> I'm not sure. Well, congratulations on what you guys are accomplishing right now, both in wrestling, but also in TikTok. And it's pretty crazy to think that you guys might be more famous as TikTokers than famous for your work in the ring. No, oh, 100%, yeah. like a thousand, thousand percent, which is crazy. Like, uh, <laughs> okay, so now we're at, uh, we just hit actually 1.3 million on TikTok. Um, which so is just cool. to dive right into it, we are the most active Followed wrestlers on TikTok ahead, ahead of us is The Rock, uh -huh. but he doesn't wrestle. <laughs> There's Ryback, but he sometimes takes other people's videos and, and posts it on his. So, so he's that's cheating, cheating, a cheating a little, little right. Ryback. And then Lana, and then I guess there's us. Yeah. So yeah, and number. you're right. The three that you just named ahead of you are not actively wrestling right now. Uh -huh. And uh -huh. we uh, we just wrestled. We just did a Mike Bailey seminar. Shout out to him. Canadian wrestler, <laughs> just like us. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. Always oh. good to talk to a fellow Canadian or mm -hmm. fellow Canadians. So I appreciate uh -huh. this. You guys are based in Vancouver, right? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. yeah, yeah. Oh, sorry. We didn't ask, answer your question. What as was far, the first question? As far as us <laughs> getting recognized. No, there was a question before that. Was it? No, what was it your... doesn't. The, oh, yeah, this, yeah. this isn't about answering questions. This, this isn't like out. a test. Right? <laughs> yeah, we're not going to get scored at that. Wait, I think. Was it who painted the Mona Lisa? <laughs> I think he asked that. Yeah, who painted the Mona Lisa? <laughs> Mona, Mona Lisa. Lisa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah that's I mean. Oh, there we go. <laughs> okay, that feels good. We still don't get tired of saying that. That's the thing. Yeah. And you've worked it into your matches now, which is great. <laughs> yeah, uh -huh, it's yeah, in our yeah. entrance theme intro and everything. So and you have a you have a, a finisher named after this. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the Da Vinci Code uh, and everything. We're starting to. Uh, I don't know if you see our Instagram stories, but there we always change words to like, if we're jogging, we say the joggy or when we're doing a friend flip, the flip here. And, and it's now all our Instagram comments, uh, Instagram.com slash Boris Twins. It's always like, does something, does something, the coffee and stuff like that. But it's, it's, a, it's a good meme. Uh, we're interested to see where it goes from because... We thought it's going to die down in like three days, but yeah. it's almost been a year and it's still going strong. <laughs> okay, so let's back this up for people who maybe haven't seen it or don't have mm -hmm. TikTok. You had this one video that absolutely blew up and went viral where you were answering these questions, basically. Oh, uh, uh, yeah. I mean, it's crazy. It was in a compilation and it was like, who painted the Mona Lisa? Mona Lisa, yeah, yeah. We didn't even think that one was the funniest one. I mean... Actually, maybe we did. <laughs> when we filmed it, we were laughing so much too. And but stuff. at the time, uh, for those of you that didn't watch it, just search up Da Vinci and then you'll just see our face with memes and everything. Uh -huh. so, uh, it's so you were saying Da Vinci, but you were incorrectly pronouncing what? it. We were, oh, correctly, we were correct. We were you just said it wrong right now. Oh, sorry. Uh, yeah. <laughs> da Vinci is the correct way. Leonardo yeah, Da Vinci. Yeah. Yeah, shout out to him shout out to him yeah wherever he is where is he by the way what's he up to i don't know yeah good question yeah <laughs> have so you ever had <laughs> how many followers did you had when have you when you made that video and then how many did it start to ramp up to 
Okay, so uh, we had 100K, so we had a good base on TikTok. Yeah, we had TikTok the... for six months posting every day. We uh-huh. jumped from 100K to 500K pretty uh, quick, and then now we're at 1.3. Uh, but also, like, um, <laughs> we had a bunch of videos go viral, so that pushed uh-huh. us. Like, I don't know if you ever saw our dumbbell videos. Uh, but hey, you guys play tag with dumbbells. <laughs> yeah, dumbbell tag, dumbbell basketball, dumbbell volleyball, dumbbell <laughs> soccer. I think a lot of people just recognize us from now from the dumbbell videos, not even the yeah, DaVinci videos. Crazy. So it's kind of like... And for things. you guys listening, if you didn't download TikTok, it's such a fun app. Like, like you just got on... Shout out your TikTok. TikTok yeah, you TikTok. Well, yes, Same. thank you. Yeah. I am on TikTok. I so I joined two years ago and then uh-huh. didn't really post anything. Uh-huh. But if you're on TikTok, I'm a Chris dot Van Vliet at Chris dot Van Vliet on there. And it, you're I, right. Yeah. This is it, a black hole. When you get on TikTok, it's a black hole of endless amazing videos. Like their uh-huh. algorithm is so good uh-huh. that it just it knows exactly what you want. It just keeps showing you more of it. Do you it's know? Funny, like, do you I know like who one. <laughs> I liked one grizzly bear video. Then all I see now is grizzly bear videos when I uh, scroll. <laughs> Do you know who like Dixie D'Amelio is and like Noah Beck and those TikTokers? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Like, you, you know, the community, you know, the people. It's so <gasps> funny. So I was having a conversation with my buddy the other day and not to go off on too much of a tangent here, but we were like, who are the most people follow or most followed people on Instagram, TikTok mm. and Twitter? And we started looking, right? And it was so interesting that Twitter was very much a sign of the times. Like the top mm-hmm. most followed people on Twitter are Justin Bieber and Lady Gaga yeah. and like mm-hmm. people like that. And then you go to TikTok and other than Will Smith being in the top 10, uh-huh. your average person doesn't know those names. And it yeah. speaks mm-hmm. to like, this is this new upcoming you know, generation of talent. And you guys are very much part of that. Uh-huh. But it's like the top is like Addison Ray, Kabi Lame, Dixie D'Amelio. Uh-huh. And Dixie D'Amelio follows us. So that's our biggest flag. But it's funny because we never messaged her because I'm like, what if she unfollows? So we're kind of like playing it cool. <laughs> playing it Maybe cool. we'll wish her happy birthday when it's her birthday or something. Yeah. But so that's with, our all biggest the, flex. with all the success you're having with TikTok, is wrestling still the main goal here? Yes, 100%. It was basically like, it was so hard, like when wrestling, we didn't have it. Uh, uh, we were I, know, so, I know some places uh, yeah. in like America opened up sooner than here in British Columbia, but there was like literally no wrestling here for like five months. It came back a little bit, then total shutdown uh-huh, for eight yeah. months. So there was a big break with no wrestling. A lot of like wrestlers in the area just mm-hmm. kind of stopped posting content and things like that disappeared. But we did the opposite. We just threw things at the wall <laughs> and saw what See stuck. stuck? Sticked? Stick, stick the plural just of, sticky, just sticky. <laughs> no but, but you wrestling, able to, you're uh, able to make money from this now oh uh, uh, yeah yeah we have cameo and patreon and stuff like that cool. sold some davinci t-shirts <laughs> and stuff uh all and i see that you people. have some you have some integrations you're doing some brand partnerships on tiktok as well <laughs> yeah we did a mcdonald's canada a couple mcdonald's, a couple mcdonald's TikToks. so the big mac is so delicious wow oh my god <laughs> we're not sponsored by them anyway you don't have to say that oh no actually i mean it's fine <laughs> does the tiktok creator fund pay enough that you maybe wouldn't have to take indie wrestling appearances no we're canadian so they don't even have a creator fund we're canada which is insane yeah. so we don't make money for views on tiktok uh, like we could have been making so yeah. much money uh-huh. how much uh, money do you think with 1.3 million followers how much money uh, do you think you could be making monthly i don't want uh, to i don't I even want to <laughs> it'll make me sad if i look at it are like, we talking think, five thousand ten thousand i don't 000? i think we'd be uh, more, more 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 I, way more i think but I think, no. to be honest um tiktok has given us so much that if it just didn't really uh-huh. i mean there's nothing we could do there's no creator I think the fact fine, that so. we didn't get paid for it kept us like just having fun with it and not putting too much stress on it and uh-huh. it did give us cool opportunities and we still are like stuff that we wouldn't have got uh-huh. without tiktok like our wrestling year when we weren't wrestling was almost better then like are your career still going like this like every yeah. and every now year. we're doing oh we actually have a piece of paper this to is show gonna be you. so you're gonna like this okay? so you okay. you always say vague goals get vague results right yeah. so for the people watching the youtube version we have a gold list we write every year boros twins 2021 oh. goal i love says. this um, it was so hard because there was no wrestling in january for us so, so hard to come up with goals where's it yeah. say oh it says interview by <laughs> okay, there's chris jericho or chris interviewed Van by or chris van of Lees. and we wrote it down i like that my name is somehow first on that list <laughs> yeah yeah 
Is that insane though? We wrote it down and now here we are. Oh, like you, like, what else you got on there? Because you have a million TikTok followers. You yeah, crushed so, that. Oh, that yeah. was on there. 100K, 100K on Instagram. We crushed that too. Got verified on IG and TikTok. That was big. But then some of them like bench two plates. We couldn't yeah, do that. that you could still... bench two plates. I can bench two plates. I really? We can do a plate 40. Maybe we'll Four like water. stack on each other and we'll like both push. Yeah, if we lay on each other, maybe. What else is here? If you wanted to bench two plates by December 31st, you could absolutely do that. That's true. That's so. true. We'll just keep eating. Thank you. Thank you for the encouragement. Uh -huh. But and we look, pretty as much fun as it is to like read off these and like congratulations on the, all the ones you've accomplished. I think that there's a real lesson to be learned here for people. Like so many people, number one, do make extremely vague goals. They'll say like, oh, I want to get more followers on TikTok. Well, yeah, you get one more follower. Congratulations, you've accomplished your terrible goal that you just set out. <laughs> I think it's so important to not only set specific goals, but to actually write them down like you uh -huh. guys did. So. And we do this every year. It's wait. crazy how powerful it is. Like uh -huh. we write the randomest goals down. Like, like we we like did. even at one point getting a car was a goal but like that's a long time ago. that seemed so far away but also or write like... it down in a spot where you could visually see it i think that's super yeah we put it on our door so we'd always like first thing in the morning see the goals list even subconsciously the fact that it's we should have wrote down like i don't know um go to space or something <laughs> that can be our next year's goal list i guess 2022 not but that. i think not only is it important to write it down i always say like put it out there like mm -hmm. let people know that this is what you're headed towards because if mm -hmm. you're trying to just making this up let's say your specific goal is to lose 20 pounds and you're posting about pizza and chicken wings and donuts mm -hmm. people can kind of be like hey wait chris patrick what's going on here i thought you <laughs> wanted to lose the weight i think it's important to put that uh -huh. out there I 100% agree. I 100% agree as well as my twin brother. <laughs> Do you guys answer all all the questions at the exact same time always? Uh, <laughs> I think so, pretty much. We're pretty like-minded. It's, it's it's come to the point where the rare time I'm by myself, someone says, how are you doing? I say, we're doing good. And I'm just by myself. So it's, uh, it's pretty bad. Yeah. You guys are like, you're inseparable. Pretty much, especially now, like we don't like have jobs or anything. We're like yeah. always together all uh -huh. the time at the gym. Oh no, your headphones. Oh no, my headphones. <laughs> How are you going to hear me? Come on. <laughs> okay. Jeez. Oh, all right. There we go. So if we take this way back, what's your first memory of wrestling that you had? Mm. Uh, first memory of wrestling was. I think our older brother maybe what? got yeah. us into it. Like we'd watch with him a lot. But it was like 2003. So I remember seeing like Brock Lesnar shooting star like that. And like of... the highlight reel at the beginning of Monday Night Raw because we didn't see Mania. Mm. So I remember cool. having the WrestleMania 17 TLC match on VCR tape. We'd like <laughs> watch that over at the My Way video. I remember like... the John Cena right now music video in like 05. That was a good yeah, was music a good... video. We had the John Cena like, oh, it's called CD. Mm -hmm. That was oh, good. Yeah. Yeah. So when so, did you decide like, okay, this is something that I want to like try to do for a living? Okay, so we always like <laughs> So wrestling. kind of like you, like we did the backyard talking. wrestling. Just, <laughs> <laughs> we did the backyard wrestling thing, Yeah, which was cool. And our company was called NXW, which is one letter off from NXT. Yeah. So we, we almost were got it. Revolutionary. A little uh, bit. But then wow. after high school, we didn't start at like 18 and stuff. But after high school, we didn't finish college uh, <laughs> just because it wasn't for us. And I we think. didn't like being in debt. It was scary. It was spooky. Uh, so but then like... a wrestling school opened up right by our house. And mm -hmm. perfectly, we... Uh, we always wanted to be wrestlers. So it just kind of started from there. Uh -huh. And then so you started training and... I guess you're automatically a tag team, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, it was like not even a question. I think we've had like under 20 singles matches each. So uh -huh. yeah, tag team. And even only. then, like one of us is managing the other. So have you guys worked each other yet? We were in a fatal, a couple fatal four ways, fatal five ways. But we just teamed up throughout the whole match. Yeah, so I'm like, I'm not going to hit him. It's like hitting, it's like hitting. It's not fair. That's part of the rules. <laughs> <laughs> have, have there ever been a time, like, obviously it's tough being twins, right? And I, I say this because I'm an uncle to twins. My, uh, my nephews, Colin and Clark are twins. And I understand that when you grow up as twins, for better or for worse, you are looked at as a unit. Uh -huh. And I think that that's great sometimes, but also you are not Patrick and you are not Chris. You uh -huh. are always just the twins. Uh -huh. And uh -huh. in that, has there ever been a time when you went, all right, you know what? I don't want to look just like my brother. I want to dye my hair black or something. <laughs> uh, lucky for us i think we're the exception uh, i think we uh, like looking 
I don't know. Like we play Fortnite a lot, and it would be like so boring if we play solos. Like duos is way funner. <laughs> and just hanging out together, I think a lot of people are lonely or like bored. Like yeah. we've never, I never felt loneliness. Like how cool is that? <laughs> well, you've got a built-in best friend right here. Uh-huh. Like we're so lucky to we're be twins. Super lucky. And we hope that in the future people could clone themselves because it's pretty fun. <laughs> uh, Maybe we'll clone ourselves too, and there'll be like four Voros twins uh-huh. as well. <laughs> And then we could be in like four on four tag team matches. That would be pretty sweet. There's not a ton of twins in wrestling. So let's talk just in terms of siblings Mm -hmm. right now. Who are the best siblings in the history of wrestling? For us, uh, us, I guess it has to be Hardys. But a team we really look up to is the Usos because they're uh uh, fraternal twins. They never wrestled each other as well. For the most part, yeah, they bickered a little bit, but they've never broke paths of like, everyone's like, who's Shawn Michaels? Who's blah, blah, blah. And then obviously Young Bucks and AEW, we look up to them a lot. But there's like all twins, like Tate twins, the Regal twins, even Devon Dudley's sons are twins. So there's quite a bit of twin tag teams we still want to wrestle Mm -hmm. at some point. And it's so hard wrestling twins. We wrestled the Regal twins and Beyond Wrestling. (laughs) I feel so bad for our opponents because I couldn't tell them apart. I was like, who is who? I was like, why are you guys dressed the same? They're making it so difficult for us. And then we're like, oh, we do that as well. That is a good point. Like if you're backstage, working out your match and you're like all right chris is gonna do this thing and then patrick's gonna do this you're in the middle of the ring you're dressed alike you look Mm -hmm. alike you have the same build how do i know who's giving me the move they don't a million (laughs) times it's like so when we do this thing thing i'm like i don't know that that's the other guy it's (laughs) oh no (laughs) Um, when you were younger did you ever use your twindom that's not a word but i'm gonna make it a word did you ever use your twindom to trick people uh uh, 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 uh hmm trick i don't think so like did you ever send a different twin to a class Uh, no we definitely switched seats when it was like um what's that teacher i think we use our idea like uh sometimes we use each other's id which is like we know each other's bank pins which is cool we kind of share money Uh we're kind of is that a married couple but i I don't think we don't really we don't really trick people because i think we'd be pretty embarrassed if they find out so like maybe yeah. you know one of you shows up on a second date with a girl that you didn't really like the first date yeah, yeah. i mean maybe we'll try it maybe we'll turn it into a tiktok or <laughs> something yeah oh, this is good yeah yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. where do you get the idea for all these tiktoks oh uh, it's tough like if you guys Seriously. don't know we we've, we've been making daily content on tiktok since march 2020 i think one or daily. two tiktoks a day is the quota <laughs> once in a while we repost but like pretty much always just original content sometimes the ideas come like this and then other days we're just like scrolling the 40 page <laughs> it's tough but uh yeah, i don't know uh-huh. we just we put no thought into it and a lot of thought into it at the same time so like uh, once we the coming up with the idea is the hard part once we have the idea Filming it's mm-hmm. like pretty And easy. our advice is to anyone posting content, don't be too hard on yourselves because oh so nice. Keep going. This oh, is wait, good. This, this is, is real. Good. Okay. okay. Uh don't be too hard on yourself. Like just throw things at the wall and you don't have to. This is the second time you said throw things at the wall. <laughs> well, we're like... throwing spaghetti at the wall, right? <laughs> uh yeah, just don't be a perfectionist. Oh, yeah, just... we don't eat spaghetti, so perfect. That's a okay, good food. I, I to lost throw. my train of thought. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't wait? How can you not eat spaghetti? Oh, yeah. yeah. Did you have breakfast today? Of course I did. What did you have? Oatmeal. Oh, oh nice. Awesome. That's with protein powder. Yeah, it was it was uh with some uh almond milk, protein powder. Oh. Yeah. What did You're you guys so have? Jacked. For oatmeal. Uh, oatmeal is a little dangerous for us because if we start eating oatmeal, it's an oatmeal phase, then we eat And we always call it bloat meal because then we eat too much. <laughs> we yeah. Get... But, but we like it. We had it yesterday as well. Yeah, what did we, we have today? A... Uh we our breakfast is always quest bar, egg whites, and a uh, banana. And a banana. Okay. Yeah, Does that, what a random question. You ask everybody what they had for breakfast? It's the most important meal of the day. We don't yes. ask everyone, but like a lot of people. A lot yes. of people. We always say, did you drink enough water? What did you work out today? I, got, I have water right here. I drink so much water. Oh. I had an interesting relationship with carbs for a long time. Mm. And I think uh. that we were kind of told for a long time that protein was what you needed and carbs, mm. you know, carbs were the enemy. Mm. And I kind of realized that in order to actually gain any sort of mass, mm. you needed carbs. And uh, as soon I, as I started carving up, I was like, oh, wow. I'm like, now I'm putting mm-hmm. on size. 
Oh, same. I think, same we, I think we heard you talk about it on one of your interviews. There was a time where we cut out carbs and we got way too skinny. And we're like, even orange juice, we're like, keep that away. From <laughs> yeah. The- but well, now you cut out carbs, yeah. not only you get skinny, but you like, you just mm. can't function. The you same. waste away. Uh-huh. No, but yeah, we eat carbs usually before and after the gym. Uh, and sometimes uh-huh. at night if we really need it. But mm-hmm. uh, we just eat, just pick and choose when you eat it and yeah, stuff. Yeah. Uh-huh. Let's talk about your WWE tryout. Yeah. Cool. yeah. When was that and how did it go? Okay, so it was Toronto. Oh, it went? Not Toronto. Uh, what's the question? <laughs> it was in July. Relax, August, relax, relax. August, 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 August 2019. Uh, it was in Toronto. SummerSlam, right? So the first weekend. ever and the only Canadian WWE tryout. We were super fortunate to be a part of the 42 people involved. I think it went really well for us. Yeah, I, uh, I think uh, we crushed it. Yeah. Personally, uh we felt like we did great we trained for it like literally we were in the ring for a month every day we feel like we have good basics for all the roles and stuff the only thing we wish is there was only one ring there i wanted to do the full-on cardio like the seven rings so there was a little bit less cardio uh which we feel like we could have done really so well. definitely on our goals list uh plug it says so we want to do the florida tryouts because we were i think over prepared cardio wise mm-hmm. You couldn't mm-hmm. really showcase that. Uh, but leaving, they pretty said, you, uh, they said, you guys have a good look. Just keep wrestling, uh, work on your social media. And we feel like we're, we've done both. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh-huh. And we're in better shape now. Like we're in the best shape of our lives. Human shaped. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, what do you mean human shaped? <laughs> <laughs> and some people think we're aliens, which is oh, weird. Yeah. Or like, I don't know. I could see robots. it. You know, it's so interesting. You guys don't really have a Canadian accent. Yeah. Uh, what All kind this- of accent is this? Uh, it is a Hungarian slash Canadian accent, I guess. I guess uh, genetically, both of our parents are Hungarian. 100% generations. I'm sure the cavemen were speaking Hungarians when we were relaxed. Just, <laughs> <What? So laughs> I'm pumped. We had coffee. Yeah. We're so caffeinated. Do you speak Hungarian as well? Uh, uh, fluently, fluently. So you speak two languages, English and Hungarian? Yes. yes. And then Davinci. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And all, <laughs> all the Davinci talk as yeah. well. So, okay, do you, do you think you have a Canadian accent at all? I think not at all. Uh, I don't want to name drop, but when we did extra work, we met Edge. And Edge was the only one that said, you guys have a Canadian accent. And then we're like, yeah. no, 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 it's Hungarian. He's like, no, 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 it's Canadian. So Edge thinks we have a Canadian accent. He's the so. only one. So, <laughs> What if you say the very specific Canadian words? You know the ones I'm talking about. Uh, like a boot? <laughs> <laughs> That's it. You nailed it. I mean, maybe we'll start talking. Uh, don't they say like, no, yeah, for sure, or something? I'm not sure. That like American? Oh, is that American? I'm not sure. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> please and thank you and stuff. Yeah, please, please and thank you. That's the Canadian accent. Or sorry, sorry. Yeah, sorry, oh, yeah. Yeah. sorry, 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 sorry is a big Canadian. Do zone. you have a Canadian accent? I think you do. I don't think I do anymore. Mm-hmm. I definitely did. In fact, yeah. I remember being in Vancouver. When I lived in Vancouver, I was hosting a show there called 969, which was on razor which ended up becoming mtg2 canada and Ooh. also on city tv and one of the producers is like you have a really bad canadian accent and i'm like <laughs> Ouch. what i said I'm, I'm from toronto i talk like how everybody talks in canada and they said yeah your canadian accent's really bad <laughs> and i watch back the videos now and i hear it really yeah. Yeah. Wow. well when mm. i i moved to the u.s in 2010 mm. and i decided when i moved to the u.s i was going to like really work on it because I wasn't mm-hmm. going to be able to get work in the U.S. if I sounded Canadian. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You guys have the great benefit of not sounding Canadian. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we have this mix of uh, a weird Canadian voice, weird Hungarian voice. But I voice think our voice is weird, too, because we're twins and mm-hmm. we just talk to each other and, like, copy each other's mm-hmm. voice. So mm-hmm. I think there's some of that. Because we don't sound like when we go to Hungary and we speak Hungarian, they don't know sometimes what we're saying. In English, sometimes <laughs> they're like, these guys are immigrants. So it's a lose, hey, Do lose, people lose. think that you're tourists? Always, all the time. time. They sometimes, we don't really go to restaurants, but sometimes they show us like, this is the loony. And I'm like, no, (laughs) I know what the loony is. That's so Uh funny. Yeah, well, I mean, I guess you you look very like Swedish, Uh probably Swedish. That's probably what people think you are. Plus when we like walk, we love life, by the way. So we're like, uh, (laughs) (laughs) so when we look around and we're downtown Vancouver, we're like taking pictures. They always think we're tourists Uh or like, we just like, I don't know. Yeah. Breathing air, breathing Plus air. Plus, we stick cool. out a lot. Like we get recognized 
a ton for TikTok and just in general. Always like we can't leave like, the we house. We used to get recognized for wrestling because they see one of us, then they see the other, and they're like, "Oh, it's the Now streets. we literally can't leave the house without like people saying "Da Vinci" Everywhere. or like honking their horn three times when they drive past the house, like "Da, da Vinci", Vinci and everything crazy. Da Vinci. This is great. Yeah. You know how many wrestlers wish that they had the mainstream recognition that you guys mm. have? Like you're uh, you're almost like reversing this. You've got the mainstream recognition. Now you want to just get on a bigger stage with wrestling. Uh, uh, exactly. Uh, it's almost hard for us to like imagine these numbers that some of our TikToks got. Because like, when we were making our TikToks, we were just at home because everything was closed. Mm -hmm. But this summer when we were kind of like traveling more wrestling in calgary going out to like the beaches and stuff but some of them like have like oh, two... I said beaches by the way we don't swear so, so beaches beaches uh -huh. like the thing but the some sad. of them having like two million likes or like a million likes that's not even views that's a big number of mm -hmm. people so so it's crazy to see uh, to think those are actually people watching. And we always it. say like like Sidney crosby is pretty famous but he uh could maybe blend in a crowd a little bit so more people might recognize us in a crowd cause just because he wears a helmet all the time I knew yeah. <laughs> even on the airport he wears a helmet it's so weird <laughs> <laughs> what's your most viewed video on tiktok uh, so it has to be those it's even three. too hard to count because uh -huh. it's da vinci for sure but so much people would repost it and stuff yeah. uh, Take the and there's like and some of them do insanely good on instagram and lower on tiktok something uh, but it's, it has to be the dumbbell videos the two towel challenge and uh, obviously the da vinci video are uh -huh. the top three for that so how many views is number one Oh, um, I would say easily. It's so like, hard to see. Oh, hundreds of millions for sure. If, if you think uh -huh. of people that watched it, excluding like on top of on ours, ours, it's probably like twenty something million. But I know a couple big people got millions of views, and from YouTube and everything uh -huh. else. So it's Man. a lot. Mm -hmm. So what was the feedback after the WWE tryout? Oh, just we, like keep doing what you're doing, build your social media following. Uh, uh, yeah, that, that's super nice. It. Uh, uh, that's pretty much it. There's only uh, mm -hmm. so many spots, obviously. I know there's been some talks of us maybe doing like a tryout or something down the road, but it's a little tough still with this COVID kind of setting. Yeah. So mm -hmm. we're just a lot of our wrestling opportunities. We're just waiting for that green light to really push mm -hmm. forward with everything. Was anybody there that we might recognize? Anybody else at that tryout that we might recognize? I Do know Bianca Corelli yeah, was there. Yeah. Uh -huh. Santina Morella's daughter. Yeah, we heard the interview. You interviewed her. That was cool. <laughs> this is so uh, great that you guys have listened to all these interviews. <laughs> no, could we just list off some of our favorites? The Jay Lethal one was so good. Oh, he's uh, the so best. This, this, this has a very Jay Lethal feel, by the way. Really? really? Thank uh, you. That's we're just hanging out. <laughs> yeah, we're just hanging out, drinking coffee, having yeah. a good time. The uh, Enzo one was good too. It was a longer one, but it was uh, I like that one too. Yeah, that was. I just saw him on the weekend. Love that guy. Uh, yeah, oh, yeah. yeah, cool. Or cool. no, other people from the Canadian trial. Let me think. Uh, <laughs> it's tough. Well, there so what like you're saying is no one from that name. tryout has been signed yet. They signed one guy to um, NXT UK. Oh, okay. He was like, what? what's his name again? I forget his name. Uh, I don't want to say the wrong name, but I think okay. he is. Mm -hmm uh australian and he's indian and canadian and british but i don't think they really used them too much on tv uh i think they did. yeah they didn't really sign i, I think they were just kind of like looking around to see uh how canadian talent is mm -hmm. for yeah. in the future uh -huh. do you think the bella twins have been like are they the gold standard of twins in wrestling i think, I think they're so. the gold standard of even just like wrestlers in general wow. like they so broke uh mainstream they're living the life. They have na their neighbors to each other. How cool is but that? But we know a lot of girls um, that just watch Total Divas and that got it. That's what we kind of want to do with our TikTok. Like get casual people, get them invested in us, get them invested mm -hmm. in wrestling. Because I think the wrestling community could get a lot bigger if more and more people branch off to this and this and this. And with AEW on TV now, it's especially cool to have more options and more people watching it mm -hmm. and stuff like that. Yeah. Well, the, well what, how about you guys working an AEW dark match? Yeah, yeah no, that's to. definitely on the goals list as well. Uh, uh, oh, it's on. It's, so it's written down on the goals list. It's written <laughs> down. It's written I down. Love it. I love um, this. But I guess the biggest thing for you guys and for it was a big thing for me and for anybody else. When you live in Canada, you've got to get over that hump of being mm -hmm. able to work in the U.S. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, it's definitely a challenge. Uh, uh, we like, navigate it all. <laughs> like we do shows for like Defy Wrestling in Seattle uh, and a bunch. But yeah, it's tricky for us Canadians, yeah, like the border challenge. and everything. But we make it work somehow. <laughs> what is the ultimate wrestling goal for you guys? 
Mm, good oh, question. That's a good one. So basically, uh, we like making uh, vlogs and YouTube and stuff. Like, we sometimes like just watching like, wrestling interviews and connecting with the superstars. So definitely, what's the goal, though? <laughs> the <laughs> goal is, I guess, to make enough money to not... Definitely do it together, yeah, yeah. Uh, travel wrestle yeah. uh and make people happy yeah and make them like laugh well. enjoy uh forget about all this stuff just watch two twins being like silly or winning 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 matches winning matches, is winning fun matches. Too, so. yeah i feel cool. like you guys would be perfect on like the amazing race mm. yeah we love uh reality tv we watch the challenge and big brother so uh, yeah. never saw amazing race but that would be cool you should too. you should submit for one of these shows it'd be amazing i think hold on let me write race. it on the goals list oh do, do it's getting added to the goals list <laughs> do you have a sharpie with you maybe you could like throw it wherever you are and we could catch uh, it out the window well, i just have a pen in my hand but i'll throw it at you guys. oh yeah okay. <laughs> yeah yeah okay i got it, it hey, into there a water it is. Ball. <laughs> whoa that's uh, it <laughs> <laughs> the, ear the earphones keep popping out yeah okay so that's the wrestling goal and mm. what's the like goal in the mainstream then mm, yeah i guess we're kind of like new to this whole like influencer thing so we're kind of like figuring that as it goes it basically but, all ends with the wrestling goal in mind but like right now we're doing youtube videos every thursday on our youtube channel you're almost at 300k on your youtube I am, cool. but the growth on my YouTube channel has been very, it's very plateaued. It's uh, it's yeah. tough to grow on YouTube. Same yeah. with us. Uh, I think we're at like 27K. Because uh -huh. it's just so competitive, but that's what TikTok and Instagram is for. But uh, we're just like going through life. I don't know. Ideally, uh, ideally wrestling, content creation, meeting uh, cool people. Yeah, we like doing vlogs and stuff like that. What so. if you started taking all of your TikToks and making them YouTube shorts? Oh, we have been. Oh, we've we been do, doing we that do. a little bit. Yeah, some of it's weird. Some of them do really good, like millions, and some of them are low. I don't know. We're just figuring it out. Yeah, uh, we're all figuring it out. But if you had, like, you guys have figured something out here, uh -huh. what's the best advice you have for somebody who's trying to gain the following that you have? I think the main thing is just do it for fun. Like, as we are saying, we don't get paid for TikToks. And you have to get on TikTok now. Because in like six months from now, it's getting already harder and harder, harder to break through and post whatever. Like there was times where we'd take forever editing YouTube videos just for like no one to watch. I think just keep posting because every day you never know who sees something. And uh, yeah, because even uh -huh. oh, I don't know, you never know who's watching your videos, even if it gets low views, the right person to watch it. Watch like it. the Internet's crazy. Like mm -hmm. yeah. like Dixie D'Amelio follows us like who would have thought like. Actually, a lot of TikTok. I follow like, you guys. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh -huh. With my 10,000 followers. Yeah. Uh -huh. And 300K almost subscribers. So. <laughs> yeah, that's been good. Yeah. But I think you could att attest to this. Oh, I sound so smart. Uh, like, <laughs> we've been watching your YouTube videos. Like, you've been putting in the work for a long time on things and always growing your stuff. Like, you didn't build your stuff in like a year. Like, it takes yeah. time. Mm -hmm. Well, Thanks my so. YouTube channel is now 10 years old, uh -huh. mm -hmm. but I will say it really started to, not unlike you guys, it really started to gain traction when I started doing the things that other people weren't willing to do, mm -hmm. which for me meant driving. I drove six hours for that Tony Khan interview mm -hmm. or I paid my paid my, for my own flight to fly to Austin Aries house to do an interview with him. And like I've got uh -huh. dozens of examples like that. And I mm -hmm. firmly believe that if you're willing to do the other things, do the things that people aren't willing to do, mm -hmm. then you're going to get the things that other people aren't willing to get. No, same, that is so true. Being Canadian like, wrestlers, like, like we paid our way. We did like Harley race camp training mm -hmm. with WXW in Germany. Uh, all these investments, like we flew mm -hmm. to ring of honor to do a tryout, which eventually we wrestled for them and stuff. So we have to do that uh, as well. And no one really knows this, but we've been making YouTube content for like 15 years just like grinding it out doing vlogs doing whatever and you never know what will yeah take off, like so. we just, like people say we got lucky with davinci but like we, it wasn't just an overnight thing like we've yeah. been grinding it out forever yeah it was just building it was just a matter of time that one of them was fun, gonna finally take off and then we knew what to do after because we did all these videos like we know how to edit and we know how to do all, or sorry to edit you <laughs> <laughs> are you guys doing all of your own to edit <laughs> As much, <laughs> that was funny. I caught you off guard. <laughs> uh, 
I, I don't know. Uh, editing takes a while, but it yeah. gives you a good feeling of like completion. So we love doing it ourselves. And every know. time we render a video, there's one mistake in it. Oh, <laughs> and then you got to so go recut yeah. it and re-render it. Always. Always. We sometimes, sometimes it's my fault. Sometimes it's his yeah. fault. But there's always something usually at the very end. So it's yeah, right. Fun. But I think there's another, there's a great lesson to be learned in that as well. I think there's too many content creators that just want to go, yeah, point the camera at me and I'll be entertaining. Mm -hmm. I think it's so important to shoot your own stuff, mm -hmm. at least early on, edit your own stuff, write mm -hmm. your own stuff. So then you know how every little bit of that process works. And maybe mm -hmm. when you get big enough and you don't have the time to do it, you hand it off to somebody who's the best at editing. Uh -huh. I think early on, it's so important to figure out how to do all of that. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. That's a great lesson. Whoa, we're giving out lessons. <laughs> well, you guys that's are giving out all kinds of lessons. Uh-huh. Thank so you. So yeah, ha yeah. have you put out today's TikTok yet? No. no. <laughs> uh, and it's tough, too, because back to Fortnite, a new season came out. So we're like, should we play Fortnite? Should we make <laughs> But we have a couple ideas. We do have ideas. Uh, we're, we're so good. you haven't yeah. even filmed it yet? No. no and no. It's, That's it's what's fun. so amazing here. Okay. I would assume... Yeah. Cause I don't know that much about it. I would assume that you have like five of them lined up, ready to go. No, no maybe no. we should do that every day. We're like, every day it's from that day. Sometimes we're like a day ahead, which is mm -hmm. cool. But, but we're much... uh, if a TikTok does really well, we might like, uh, don't put that much stress that we need a banger. But if we don't do a banger in like five days, we're like, we need a banger video. Mm. How so. can we collaborate on one? It's oh. tough. Cause sometimes people meet us and they're like, let's film a TikTok. People think filming a TikTok is just like telling yeah, a joke. Yeah, like just turn on the camera and be yeah. funny. <laughs> but there's a formula yeah. to the app and stuff. It depends like, like what trends are going on and if you could make that work with someone else. So uh, it all mm. depends where like the app is kind of going. Because if you do an old trend, it's like everyone's seen it before. Yeah, and it's, you know, you got to get care. them early somehow. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. mm, this is mm -hmm. more great advice from the Boros twins. This is amazing. Uh -huh. But have fun with apps. See what other people are doing. And should don't, we, should we start charging people? <laughs> and it's also <laughs> like, don't, don't be afraid to like, like we used to be so shy uploading our TikToks mm. to Instagram because we we're like, TikTok could see it, but Instagram, we're pretty shy to let those people see mm. it. But now we're at the point where we don't really care what yeah. we post. We're just having fun with it now, but it definitely is hard to get your first few videos. And like for us, some of our and videos we get a lot are of hate. A lot of hate. Yeah, yeah. We, we get, get a lot, lot of hate on our TikToks. A lot of positive. A lot of like, hate. Who are these people messaging us? And uh -huh. like, it doesn't bother us at all actually yeah how do you deal with that it doesn't it doesn't bother uh, us but i could see how it could bother other other people too which is yeah yeah when we were going through some family stuff some of them were yeah, like, i don't know I could, should we get into it all right oh yeah, yeah our dad passed away in march which is crazy uh-huh and we're still not fully uh yeah done i'm so with, sorry that, yeah, that yeah. must be so difficult to deal with and then like yeah, yeah some people are saying like rude comments on that then i'm so, like that so was that bad. was like the only time hate comments but I'm it's really as easy it. as like a block and a post but yeah that was a tough time in our life do you get hate comments Oh yeah, of course. What? But you're so likable. <laughs> so are you guys. <laughs> That's Look, true, when, I and so. you know this, but when people are saying mean things about you, it's just because they're upset with who they are as a person. Uh -huh. But I mean, I get it. Uh, we do look silly and we're, I like the silly ones when people make fun of us and our hair and stuff. Uh -huh. Uh, like those are fine yeah yeah like we could yeah that, joke. those are fun. like if someone says something about my appearance i'm just like oh cool that's great yeah yeah <laughs> but yeah i don't know like you, you just de you deal with the haters by going that's that's so unfortunate that you are not happy in your own life uh -huh. that you need to say mean things about other people to make yourself feel good about yourself uh -huh. Uh -huh. but I, I could see how it does affect people like it doesn't affect us but i could see like the internet being mean to somebody affecting someone it's pretty serious i think people uh -huh. Like, Even in the wrestling community, I've seen, we've seen a, like, there's a lot of sometimes negativity of like this wrestler's character is portrayed like that, but they're treating him like it's the actual person. Mm -hmm. I don't know. It's a yeah, yeah. tough. Mm -hmm. So with 1.3 million followers right now uh -huh. on TikTok, how long till 2 million do you think? Oh, good question. We've been still going like this. Yeah. Luckily, we didn't plateau. Like uh -huh. we hit 1.2 in July, late July, I think. Oh, that's 100,000 in uh -huh. two months. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I think it just depends how much work I we think put we'll into it. I think we'll be pretty close to it. Because uh, it's not just January? going up with us doing nothing. It's like us working hard at it. Mm -hmm. But you if you guys do one with Jason yeah. Derulo. I yeah, yeah. That's what it is. yeah. <laughs> that guy is the uh -huh. ultimate collaborator. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. We just have to get to California. Yeah. Well, come on down. You can stay on my couch. <laughs> oh you're in california so yeah cool. i live in la oh, whoa cool yeah. whoa so you're come so on down cool. there's room there's room for two of you guys on there yeah just a little bit with the covid test there's to get into the country it's still a lot confusing a well little i'm little actually flying back to toronto as we sit here right now i'm flying back on thursday 
Uh -huh. But you need a COVID test. And I, I did a COVID test this morning. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. There yeah, needs to be a negative COVID test within uh -huh. 72 hours of entering the country. It's a lot. And it was uh -huh. expensive, right? Well, COVID tests here are free. What? <laughs> I oh, thought yeah. it was 200 American. Oh, no, I'm not sure. I don't know where they, I mean, in LA, they're free. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Because they want to try to contain this. Uh -huh. But in Canada, yeah, you still have to pay, right? Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I believe yeah. so. In fact, when I flew, I was home a few weeks ago, months ago in Calgary. Mm -hmm. My sister lives in Calgary. And in order to fly back to the US, I had to get a COVID test and it was like $160. Uh -huh. right? uh -huh. But it's possible. But all it's this possible. Is say, it's <laughs> possible. You guys should be down here. Yeah, yeah. Content yeah. with all the people who create content down here. Uh -huh. No, that's true. There's a bunch of people, you, a bunch of people on TikTok in LA. So I guess you should that's... go to VidCon. Yeah, yeah. something like that. Yeah. It's yeah. in like, three weeks oh is this start yeah. packing <laughs> yeah. I, you can you're welcome to stay on my very comfortable couch. yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Oh, likewise yeah. if you need a place in uh, vancouver <laughs> i'll be right i'll be right up there i love yeah, it yeah, yeah. well you guys know that i end the interview with the same question every single time so uh, i don't know who if painted the mona lisa <laughs> <I'm just kidding>. <laughs> <laughs> yeah exactly who painted the mona lisa <laughs> <laughs> once again mona lisa yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. Totally. yeah. yeah. I, think, I, I don't know if you guys are going to answer this together or if you're going to answer it separately, but what do you what think we're going to do in your life you for us twins that you, you guys are grateful for? Okay. I am grateful for water. <laughs> no. Should I be serious? Okay. We'll be serious. Uh, you, can, I am, you can do it either way. I, we <laughs> are water. grateful that we are healthy. Uh, yes. I think health is super important. Super lucky that we don't, we aren't sick and stuff. Grateful for health. No, I guess sick. grateful for our optimism because we're pretty positive. And I know some people get stressed out or anxiety. We're lucky that we don't really have like, we much. have a good support system, surround ourselves with positive people, which is yeah. cool. And we are grateful uh, <laughs> with how, <laughs> come on, this is it. The moment of truth. <laughs> 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 there we go. We actually grateful are grateful for, for Da Vinci. We actually uh -huh. are, because we were like, as we were saying, there was no wrestling. So like people, it's a joke answer, but it's also the real answer. Yeah, it made our last year of the pandemic uh, super fun, super cool, something mm -hmm. we could focus on besides wrestling. And as for us moving forward, like wrestling companies like NEW in British Columbia, huge potential. They just did their first show. Uh -huh. So everyone keep their eyes on NEW. Uh -huh. We still have a wrestling vlogs. Uh, every Thursday, we, we're trying to build up our YouTube. YouTube and you slash. never know where the Voros twins will pop up uh next which mm. is cool uh -huh. this has been great guys uh -huh. yeah yeah, yeah. There, <laughs> i think you are the like, i had the usos on so you're the second set of twins i've ever had on here well Whoa. number two silver medal nice. silver nice. medal good enough <laughs> nice that's right uh, the silver one looks cooler anyway you think <laughs> no i'm lying but yeah, i don't know i'm just saying optimism optimism. Optimism. Yeah, optimism 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 i love it oh you uh -huh. you guys are full of positivity you're full of optimism and most importantly, you're full of creativity, which is uh -huh. why you're in the position that you're in right now. This doesn't happen by accident. And uh -huh. anybody who's looking at 1.3 million followers on TikTok and going, oh yeah, they had one video that popped off. Uh -huh. You know, they got lucky. No, that's not the case uh -huh. at all. Yeah, this, yeah. Is, this is day after day after day of hard work, week after week, mm -hmm. month after month, year after year. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah. No, we appreciate those words. We're just being ourselves. And we know if we could impact people, positively have them have a good day and stuff then we're all for it mm -hmm. you guys are a must follow on all social media it's just at voros twins yeah, yeah we kept it, it easy no voros underscores twins. no anything just voros no, twins not even. <laughs> no 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 just voros twins keep it simple oh, v-o-r-o-s oh, twins anything else guys i i've just i've loved this no, that's pretty much it. But I just want to say you're super cool. Oh, thank you you're for this interview. Things, uh, uh, this is the part you. where we hype you up. So, <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, and it, that's pretty. Is that it? Anything I else? I think that's it. You have oh, really you shiny teeth, know, which is cool. Do you know when did the Cold War end? No. Summertime. <laughs> oh, God. This is so good. Yeah. <laughs> thank you, guys. Uh -huh. Thank you. Super fun. Uh, can we get a yo? Sorry, we're asking for a lot. <laughs> Yo, yo, yo. yo. <laughs> you could be our third twin. You nailed it. I look just like you guys. Perfect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah. Pretty much. Mirror yeah. image. That's exactly it.